How's it going guys? So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this really cool logo animation using geometry nodes. It's not a whole lot of nodes. This concept is pretty easy to wrap your brain around. But before I get into that, let me shout out today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. As of right now, Blender is the most searched topic on Skillshare right now, and there are a myriad of workshops that you can get and learn so much here on Skillshare. A specific one that I really like is, is your first 3D animation workshop. It takes you in making your first character, rigging it, all that stuff. It is a very detailed, very in-depth, really good course that is available currently on Skillshare. It's curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes. Every human was born to create, whether you just picked up a paintbrush yesterday in grade school, you can explore your creativity and be inspired. Skillshare offers membership with meaning, with so much to explore, real projects to create, and the support of fellow creatives, Skillshare empowers you to accomplish real growth. Whether you're a dabbler or a pro, hobbyist or a master, you're creative. Discover what you can make with classes for every skill level. Skillshare believes a strong community is essential to personal growth. Tap into the support of fellow creatives who provide encouragement, communication, and inspiration. When you join, you can try one of Skillshare's new live classes. Experience real-time inspiration as you connect with popular teachers while watching and working along with other members. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one-month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. Now, let's get into the tutorial. All right, we're back. So what you can do is either get your logo, make sure that you are exporting your logo, um, you know, out of Photoshop or Inkscape, anything like that. Make sure it's an SVG. Now, if you want to test this idea out on like any logo you want, for me, I just looked up Nike logo SVG and then I found a free download for it. So you can use like Apple or NVIDIA, any of those kind of logos if you want to test this out on. If you don't want to use a logo, you can just start out with just regular geometry of any kind of shape. We're taking these logos and converting them to geometry anyway. So if you just want to take this concept and test it out to follow the tutorial, any shape works. Um, you can even use a plane. So I'm going to go here to file import. I'm going to click SVG. And then we're going to go to the desktop. We're going to get the Nike logo pack and get this logo right here. So I'm going to go take this guy and scale him up pretty big. And then I'm going to hit tab. I do want his anchor point to be right there. So if you look, this is the anchor point, that little yellow dot. So I'm going to make sure that I have my anchor point just kind of roughly in the middle of the logo. This doesn't really need to be exact. I'm going to go ahead and get a cube just to see how big this logo is in comparison to a default primitive. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that. I'm gonna take this guy, control A, apply scale. I'm gonna hit R, X, 90 on this. And then uh, I'm gonna go here to the material really quick and just kill that material because it just makes it a pure black. It's hard to look at. So here, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to right click and then uh, we're gonna go here to convert to mesh. Now it's a mesh. So make sure that you hit A when you go hit hit tab, hit A in the edit mode just to make sure that all your faces are selected. And then what I'm going to do is E for extrude, Y on the axis, and just pull it out this way. And then now you did that, so now we have an extruded Nike logo. Now, like I said, you can use any geometry for this. Now we just have geometry. So if you're using a logo, you'll notice your logo probably looks really bad um, when it comes to the topology of it. So we're gonna go ahead and fix that. I'm gonna go click on the wireframe view so we can see what we're doing here. I'm gonna go here to the modifiers, add modifier, and we're gonna get in a remesh. So click that remesh, and I'm gonna go from voxel to sharp, and then I'm gonna bring that octree depth to something like that. So I keep my octree depth at around six. You can even bring it up to seven if you really want to. Uh, it's really just trying to even out these points, and you'll notice even the edges here aren't perfectly smooth like the original Nike logo is, that's okay because we're not conforming to the perfect edge there. So what we can do now is just apply that and now we have that um, destructively, but that's okay because the other topology was even worse. So let's go ahead and right up here, you're gonna find geometry notes. By the way, I am in 2.93.1. Um, so either have, I believe everything here just works in any 2.93, even 2.92. Because um, these are pretty basic principles for um, geometry nodes. I'm going to go ahead and kill this window because I don't really look at it. 
Now I'm gonna go ahead, shift A and get in our instance object. I'm gonna go and bring my subdivisions up. Um, maybe a little bit too high, but it's okay because we're instancing this. So your scene really won't be very heavy. So I'll kind of bring it over there. And then let's go ahead and click a new node tree. Here we go. First thing we're going to do is get a point instance. So shift A, search P-O-I-N-T, and we'll click point instance. And then we're going to pick our Icosphere instance object, and it's going to look a little bit too much. I'm going to go ahead and get in a point scale, S-C-A-L-E, point scale, and we're going to place that right here. And then one really cool trick is if you click and drag and then move them, you can all move them all together. So that's pretty cool. So what you can do is just click, drag, and then let go. And then 0.02, something like that. Now we have them all at a reasonable size. So right now there are there's a point or you know our object here on every single point. And that's just too many for the design that I'm looking for. So what I'm going to do is get in a uh, point distribute, P-O-I-N-T, and then we'll go point distribute, plug that there, and then you can bring this density up and have just a smaller amount here. And then let's go ahead and we can bring that point scale up. So can we kind of bring that up? Now we have some shapes going on here. We need some variation to kind of make this look cooler, make it look better. And that's when we can start getting into these uh, randomized nodes. So for, if you've never touched geometry nodes, um, if you're trying to do like trying to do something that looks like a particle system, you'll have your uh, your point instance, point distribute, point scale, and that kind of does a very basic setup for you. Now what we're going to do is get a attribute random. So I'm, I'm going to type in random, R A N D, attribute randomize, plug it there. In this case, we're going to type in scale, S C A L E, put that there. If you type in scale, it recognizes that as what you're trying to do. And now you can play with your minimum scale and your maximum scale. And you can have a lot of fun with that. And then you can say, bring that down, give yourself more of these right here. Get a pretty cool design. And you have seed. So if you don't like the particular distribution of them, you can kind of fix that. So we can bring it up like that, bring up that density. And now we have basically the overall shape of our Nike logo. So they're very bunched up back there, but that's okay. So now, once you have pretty much the shape that you like, let me go back, actually, this looks pretty good for what I want. So now that you have the shape that you like, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next, the next section. So what we're going to do is take this, hit tab to go to edit mode, hit A, making sure you have all your faces selected. We're gonna go ahead and make a vertex group. Let's call it transition. Now, in this case, you can name it anything you want. This part, it's just up to you because what this name is what we're going to get this a node to speak to that name. And then we're going to click assign. So these vertices are assigned to this transition vertex group. Now we need to go and add in a vertex weight proximity. Proximity is the important word here. So we're going to use an object to show the proximity to that object and we can make things scale with it. So we're going to vertex weight proximity, bring it above our geometry node modifier and bring this over here. So add the transition vertex group. We need to add a target object, which in this case, we're gonna get an empty and I'm gonna use a, uh, I'm gonna use a, a sphere for this. And then we're gonna go back here, target object, click that empty. We're gonna go from object to geometry. And then now we have all of that set up. So now we can go back, make sure you click on the geometry nodes modifier. Otherwise these won't show back up. So now we have this node right here and this node right here playing with scale. We need, we're going to add another node right here to further manipulate that scale with the weight painting that we're doing. So I'm going to go ahead and get in another point scale here. P O I N T, and then we're going to go point scale. And then right here on vector, we're going to actually go to attribute and we're going to type in transition, T R A, transition, and that will now speak to it. So when we play with the, uh, these parameters right here, we can really make it work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the highest at zero and then the lowest, now look at that. We have a pretty cool animation with what we're doing. So now we can go ahead and start designing the rest of our scene. We have all of this fun stuff here, really easy to do. 
let's go ahead and continue with the uh, design. So that's all the geometry, all the geometry node stuff we're going to be doing for the rest of this um, tutorial. So if all you wanted to learn was geometry node stuff, we're done. Now we're going to go ahead and start lighting and designing it and shading it. So I'm going to go ahead and get Shift A, S5. Actually, we're going to do S8 on this plane. I'm going to duplicate R, X, 90. And then um, we're going to bring this back over here. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on my empty, hold shift, click on the Nike logo, bring it up. And now we have this. I'm going to go ahead and just scale that up a little bit and scale that up a little bit. And then I'm going to hit the tilde key, which is right above the tab key for me. Click front, hit shift A, get a camera. And I'm just going to bring that up, bring that back. And then I do want to play with my aspect rate, not aspect ratio, my, um, forget the word. So we're going to click on the camera, click on the green camera. It is the um, focal length. That's the word I was trying to think of. We're going to do 120 on our focal length. And then I'm going to hit G, middle click, bring this out, and then kind of bring it up. And then I'm going to scale this plane up to fit what we're trying to do. So I'm going to go ahead and um, control A, apply scale on both of these planes. We're going to do some really quick shading for this. So let's click on shading. And before our scene crashes, I'm going to go ahead and save my file and uh, call it. I was supposed to uh, type in tut, but I put ty. Oh, well. So let's go ahead, click this here. I'm going to bring this up. And I'm going to go with metallic, very dark metallic here. And then we're going to get in a color ramp. Plug the color ramp into the roughness. And then we're going to get a uh, noise texture. I'm going to hit, uh, so put the noise texture right there. Then we can kind of look at this. So we're bringing our detail to 12. Bring the uh, bring the roughness up, bring that in, something like this. And then we're going to go ahead and click on this lower plane here and add that same material. So now we have a nice uh, reflective, kind of glossy material here. Pretty nice. Um, I think the Nike logo is good. Let's go ahead and shade that. Now, you can't click on the Nike logo and shade it. You actually have to click on the Icosphere and shade that. Because that we're clicking on some geometry that doesn't exist when you click on the um, the Nike logo. So let's go ahead. I'm going to delete this principled here. Shift A and add an emission node. I'm going to go ahead and plug that there. Shift A, get a color ramp. Plug this right into the color. And we're going to get in a layer weight node. And use, uh, we're going to use facing. I think facing will work well. So let's go ahead and get this, make this red. And in your case, whatever color you want to use, um, that will work. So I'm going to go ahead and go, go from linear to B spline so that we can kind of play with this and make it a much smoother looking glowing material. So we're going to make this fully red like this. And then in my EV settings, make sure you're in the EV render engine, ambient occlusion, bloom, screen space reflections, and motion blur have that turned on and then yeah now we have our material we can go into animation now so let's go ahead and see how the scene looks our worlds our world is at a gray color so we're going to bring that down to a black and now we have this so far we can go ahead and even add some uh let's go back to geometry nodes the Nike logo isn't completely readable as the Nike logo, it's just kind of a jumbled mess with a lot of stuff here, not a lot of stuff here. So we'll go ahead and just play with the uh, seed. Also, let's go ahead and we can add some density to it. And there we go. So now we have the Nike logo a lot more readable and we still have a nice variation. Let's go back to the layout and we're gonna go ahead and animate this. So let's go ahead to the geometry. And I mean, uh, to the modifiers here, I'm going to bring this out so it's just easier to uh, look at. Right here on lowest, we're going to bring it back. So bring it all the way back to there's just two of these. I'm mean, not two of these, a couple of these. And I'm going to hit the camera and we're going to go with the Y and bring it all the way in. Something like this. Before we go ahead and keyframe any of those, I'm going to go here to edit, preferences, click on animation, make sure your default interpolation is set to Bezier or Bezier, whatever you want to call it. And then let's go ahead and 
click on the Nike logo again and animate this um, transition. So let's go ahead and just make sure we're bringing that lowest all the way down till it's gone. So let's do that. Right click on the lowest, insert keyframe, kind of wait however long you want that to transition in. It's right about there for me. And then Nike logo come straight in, insert keyframe. Look how cool that is. All right, so for me, a little too fast. So we get to write about right about here. And there we go. Now we have a transition in. Now we need to transition the camera. So let's go ahead and we're gonna start the camera at a angle. So right here on the rotation of the Y, we're gonna just kind of bring it like this. And so what we're gonna do is we're going to go back to the beginning keyframe here for the Y and keyframe here for the Y and then we're gonna wait wait to see how long does it take for this whole thing to transition in so let's go ahead and put the Y at 0 here at frame 91 for me and then bring this out till I like where our Nike logo is kinda of spaced around and then click and then click and then now look how cool that is we can even kind of bring those keyframes in a little bit. There we go. That kind of follows it a little bit better. There we go. A really cool geometry nodes animation here. And then you can go ahead and export this to uh, whatever export settings you like. For me, what I tend to always do with EVs, um, EV animations because they don't really crash that much. I'm going to go here to FFmpeg video. Select where I want to save it. Go from encoding here. And click on mp4 and then output quality perceptually lossless and render it out so there you go that's how you create this really cool geometry nodes animation you can do this with really anything you want there's a lot of fun here especially with that weight painting trick thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video